Hi friends, earlier in a video we have already seen how we can show a tabular data by using TTK bootstrap design in a Kinter window by using table view. So all the basics of that and the how to manage the design we have already discussed and that link is there in the description. You can watch that video. Now we'll see how user can control show or hide a particular column with the data in this table view. So we'll use a check button and uh, through managing through that check button, we can control whether to show or hide a particular column that we will learn. But before that, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's start the script. Earlier we have seen up to this point here the we have created uh, one data set or a list of data and one dictionary which is as a column header that we have given as L1. This is the lab, uh, list which we are using as the column header inside that there is a dictionary and similarly for the records. So L1 and record set 1 that's what we are using it here row data we are taking it here and that we are using now let's just run this and see. Yeah, this is what you have already have this and we have discussed this in our previous video also the link is there. Now in this there are uh, one more set of uh, rows and uh, rows of data and the headers we have created. We have given the name as R set 2 and this is the L2 or the, these are the L2 is the headers or column headers. Here the only the gender column is not there and in the record also to match it we have removed the rows at the last element of the inside that whatever set we have that last element we have removed so that is the gender so these two set of rows and headers we have initially we are using the first one next we'll move it to the second one so that i will control through the check button for that we'll add the check button now uh, beyond the, though right now the second uh, list tower and the second record set we are not using now we'll use that for that let's push put our cb1 underscore v this is the uh, we'll be using check button so one boolean variable we are using ttk dot boolean bar and initially this value will keep it as true so check button will be checked once it opens up now cb1 is our check button one now equal to ttk again now check button check button what is our parent window is here it is my uh, ttk check button variable so it is we are saying variable now what is the variable here it is cb1 cb1 is the uh, underscore value this is the boolean variable what you have declared at the top so by default it is the parent window now what should be the written the text let's write gender whatever text you have if it is to match the column header we have written like that now let me come to the next line here i will see on value because it's a check button so i must have a on value and off value so on value equal to true and off value equal to false that means when the check button is not checked the value should be false now bootstrap style our boot style boot style equal to now here you are giving success Okay, this is uh, here the same boot style we have used for our table view the same one we are continuing here. So success now we'll say command what will happen when the check button is checked or unchecked. Now my upd or my update this particular function it will call but so far we have not written this. So this will give the error now. Now okay let me remove this right now and let's see how the layout is. Okay sorry before that I have to place it on the grid. So the cb1 dot grid because then only it will be displayed row equal to 1 and column equal to 0. So this is uh, row 1 because below the table view because our table view is row 0 it is here. So that that's why we are keeping it at row 1. Now let me just save it and uh, run once let's see here it is now the here is the check button I can check or uncheck it. Let's add the command so we can rest, uh, trigger the function when the check button is checked or unchecked. So both ways this will trigger my update this particular function. Now this function we are going to write now. So below this we will write it. So define my update. So this is the function 
this will be called once the check button is either checked or unchecked first what i am going to do is i will remove this particular uh, table view from the grid so for that dv dot grid forget why i am doing this is because when i rearrange or remove one column the layout will change so for that a fresh uh, i have to use i have to add that say, widget to the grid so initially i am removing it now what i am going to do is i have to check that whether the checkbox is checked or from check to unchecked so what is the status so for that i will say cb1 because this is the boolean variable what i have declared uh, below that this variable which is connected to the particularly to our checkbox so cv1 underscore v is the boolean variable now this value this value i will get it by set remember all the our uh, string variables boolean variables when we want to receive the data we have to use get or you want to assign the data we have to set set we have to use now here once that means if the cv1 dot b dot uh, cv1 underscore v dot get is checked that means it is true in that case dv or our radio uh, sorry our table view dot build build table now this is what build table data now what i am going to do is l1 dot r set 1 so you just see earlier we have build table data we have used where it is okay so build table data we have to okay this, this will build the table data with when it is checked set one is used when it is not checked that time we have to go for the second one so second one second set is l2 r set 2 so i'll just copy this line place it here and change it to r set 2 second set to use that means the gender column is removed so that's uh, that's that set my table data now i have to again auto uh, dv auto fit because this columns has to be arranged again auto fit columns now that's done now what happened now i will again place it on the grid dv because earlier i have first i have for dv forget i have used it now i will again place it on the grid so dv dot grid row equal to zero because that is the first element row zero and column equal to zero so again i have placed it on the grid otherwise it won't be visible okay let's just save this and run once here it is now the gender column is there now this has picked up the first one okay by default it is the one because I, here i am row data r set one i am giving column data l1 here I, because this is picked up because of this now i'll uncheck this fine now the gender column has because now it is shifted to second set of data now again i will click this when i am clicking and unclicking this this particular function is getting activated or it is triggered and accordingly this if condition takes care and sets the new data what is the set one is to be used or set two to be used that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and the entire source code you can download and the link is there at the description before you close my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching